Hello YouTube, it's me Justin, February 16th. Um, I just wanted to do a video um, to explain that tomorrow Freddy Rodriguez and I, Freddy from Puerto Rico, are going to do another joint video with um, with the technology that I have, just have them on speakerphone. But we're going to touch on the uh, Schaefer Cox um, story. A uh, true patriot that's um, that's been illegally detained, uh, pretty much framed by the FBI. Um, I'm going to put a link to the video. There's a lot of uh, discussion that um, we're going to do tomorrow on this topic, but I urge people that don't know anything about it or aren't familiar with it, um, check out uh, the link below and the link that I'm going to put in the comment section. And um, <clears throat> basically, um, like Freddie and I talked about it today on the phone, you got these far left libertard idiots that are able to assemble and have these massive marches wearing these ridiculous vagina hats dressed up as vaginas and penises. And um, us true patriots, Americans that um, love and respect our Constitution. For some reason aren't able to assemble like that so um, anyways uh, that's basically some of the stuff that we're going to talk about tomorrow and like I said Schaefer Cox um, pretty much um, if you watch the video you can see all the corruption with the FBI and see and it, it's now is a perfect time but this guy is running out of time he's got to till uh, March 27th I believe and there's a petition out there that can be signed um, we're going to try to figure out how to link that petition that you uh, go to online to sign uh, I think it needs a goal of uh, 10,000 signatures um, it's at a, like 190 something I signed it but um, we're going to do a lot of talk and discussion about that and basically um, pretty much how corrupt uh, our government is and the FBI and the CIA and all that which we do know there's a lot of good uh, people in the FBI and in the CIA and all that but um, try being a whistleblower if you're tied in with the FBI pretty much disappear so I mean um, we're just gonna like I said touch on that topic and if you're familiar with this case I urge you to keep an eye out on the video my phone only does 15 minutes at a pop, so it might be uh, two segments, or I might try to use a tablet, see if it'll work uh, to do like a 20 or 30 minute video. But um, anyways, I look forward to that. Um, I eventually will upload the video of the Bible talk that um, Freddie and I had uh, did the other day, but after the school shooting um, kind of threw me way off base, and I was completely focused on that and then I even actually snapped at a uh, a troll that I had and uh, poor Prophet EZ I don't know if he thought I directed the comment towards him but basically somebody stating that you know because you know my beliefs are that there should be um, you know more armed security around these uh, school campuses and uh, teachers and this person made this ridiculous comment and said how fast uh how quickly it was over and it wouldn't if you know it wouldn't have helped stop the shooter from killing these people if if, if there would have been a teacher with a gun that could at least save one more life but if you notice that this gun gunman or you know coward um walked out with the class and he still had plenty of ammunition left he wasn't brave enough to go down in a blaze of glory. Once he knew the cops were there, he got scared and hauled ass. So basically, if uh, a teacher would have been armed and the rounds started popping off and a teacher would have went out in the hallway and popped one at him, he probably would have dro or dropped his guns and everything and ran like a coward. So um, anyways, teachers that are highly vetted and that have a spotless record and are expert marks marksmen and are highly trained in firearms 
absolutely they should be able to carry or have like I said a safe box that only they have access to in case of an emergency like this so instead of having 17 dead unfortunately you know I hate to say only two every life matters but um, and then I was just watching a, a clip on Alex Jones that was just uploaded 12 minutes ago that uh, some schools in Colorado are actually I haven't finished the whole thing so I'm not going to go into full detail until um, I you know find out and then I'll touch on the topic tomorrow um, with Freddie but <clears throat> like I said uh, Schaefer Cox a patriot that's been um, kind of like the Bundys um, if you know anything about uh, the Bundys and um, Nevada, um, if you're a true patriot, you know, if you just even want to subscribe to the channel just so you can uh, see the video tomorrow, that would be awesome. Um, but it's going to be a great conversation. Like I said, it might go two rounds, might go three. I don't know. It might be a part one, two, and three. But um, this, this patriot's running out of time. And if this petition can be signed, then pretty much there's a chance. He has so much evidence. There was so much corrupt evidence that was thrown out that the, um, the juries weren't allowed to hear. Even uh, recordings of FBI agents that were going to stage a kidnapping of Schaefer Cox's son. So... Schaefer Cox would have come out with um, with a weapon to protect his child to give them the reason to kill this man. And basically he was exposing uh, human, human trafficking. Sorry, I've got dry mouth here. But um, anyways, it's going to be um, a really awesome video and it's going to touch on um, you know, how crooked our government is. And as you can see with uh, the FBI and um, this dossier and just all the corruption in the government. And um, so anyways, that's what tomorrow is going to be. I just want to give a heads up about that. And um, anyways, I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. And I'm going to put in the title, Schaefer Cox, True Patriot something like that, draw in some attention. This isn't the video. Um, tomorrow's going to be the video because uh, we're trying to join our schedules together. He's in Puerto Rico. I'm here in Wisconsin. So, But I don't have the modern technology to do the, you know, him in one screen and me in the other. Just, you know, going to have him on speakerphone. So it's better than nothing. But like I said, if these libertards can all join up, and these Antifa freaking freaks, um, even though they're paid by Soros, if they can have these massive crowds and, and be heard, then it's about time that us Americans that absolutely love our country, that respect and cherish our Constitution, and um, just love our country in general, it's time for us to get much louder than the far left. So, anyways, fear no man, never fear death, get right with God, fight the good fight, and stay locked and loaded 100%. And I urge people, go out as soon as possible and start and arm yourself, because the far left is going to take this gun control even further. So, anyways, till tomorrow. Later.